and Jonathan Groff. You're on mute. Okay, I got it. Um, I remember getting a text from Lynn. I think they were in rehearsals for the off-Broadway production and oh no, uh, low battery. Hold on, wait, hold on one second. I'm just gonna <laughs> mute myself and come. We'll, we'll, we'll bring it back to, to Jonathan. He can, he can, they keep shouting you out. They gotta let you come in uh, for it. You're muted again, by the way. You're, you're muted, uh, Jonathan. Jonathan's having, wait, Jonathan. having his best life today. Jonathan, unmute, unmute. Unmute, homie. What is wrong with me? I'm so sorry. Uh, you're I want pretty, to Jonathan. It doesn't you. matter. You're living your truth and you're beautiful for it. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thanks, guys. Um, I have to, I guess, sort of back up what Renee said in that the, the biggest similarity is that I think in film and television, you're at the mercy of your director. They can make you look great. They can make it look horrible. It can be like the greatest performance ever that gets totally edited out. It could be the most that, you know, and I felt the same way with David doing, my, I was actually had left the show by the time uh, we were going to shoot the movie of Hamilton to go do Mindhunter. And so I remember feeling like, oh, I hope I remember the words. And I hope, I, I think I sang it three times on the one day and then my voice like just cut out. Thankfully I got it three times out. But yeah, I would say that like, um, when you're, when you have, when you have a brilliant director editing it and pasting it together, then you can, you can be as big or as small as you want and actually, they're, you're just free to fly. And so with with Hamilton, everyone was so rehearsed. And I think that it didn't even occur to us. I, I didn't even think like, now I'm doing it for the camera. I just was like, I was just living what I learned from, from Lynn and Lack and the company and everybody and just letting it fly, knowing that the material was amazing. Everybody was so well rehearsed and that ultimately Tommy was gonna edit it together so well. And even when I did see it, I felt like, wow, I didn't think it was going to look that good. I didn't, I like had not anticipated how amazing and how, and how I felt like to the earlier question, I actually got to see the show off Broadway because I replaced Brian Darcy James, who was the original King. And so like you were saying, Leslie, like getting to see it before being in it was such a big part of the experience. And when I saw the film, I felt like I was back at the public theater watching I had the same feeling watching the show as I did watching the movie of the show. And I just, I'd, I've never had that experience before where I felt like I was seeing a movie and I felt like I was in the theater at the same time, which was such a revelation to experience as a, as a viewer. Awesome. Uh, jo Jonathan Groff, King, come on. You gotta have one good, you're, you're muted again, he's coming on. Uh, uh, oh God, a thing that was hard to say. I would say that it was le um, <laughs> it's a little unprofessional, but it was not, I was, my, the challenge for me was every night when I would walk past Lynn during the Reynolds pamphlet was trying to make him laugh. So that to me was the most, my, that was like my challenge every night was how I was gonna get Lynn to laugh. And I, and he was so, um, Lynn doesn't break that easily. Is that everybody else's experience? No. no. <laughs> I guess I'm just not that funny. <laughs> Lynn's the worst. He's the easiest. He's the easiest one of corpse. You just have to catch him when he's not expecting it. Okay. Uh, this, I guess, it right? was an every night situation. Yeah. So I would try like grazing his body with my hand or, you know, a million different things. And then I, I did like this YouTube recreation of a joke we had and that finally broke him. But that was really every night my challenge of how am I going to make so it. loud when you did it yeah that yeah. was what made me laugh so hard was it like you had no awareness that your mic is also live you are one of the singers in this cast <laughs> did the voice of the lady who's stomping the grapes and falls over at yes. top volume yes. in my ear just like ow, 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 ow. I can't breathe I can't breathe at the top of your lungs and I I'm in the middle of the worst moment of Hamilton's life and I just had to yeah, you turn up stage. I just turned away from the audience until it was over. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, guys, sorry, we're, we're, we're out of time. I want, I want to hang out with you guys all day. This seems very, I, I feel like I learned a lot of secrets today and a lot of uh, interesting bits that uh, uh, I want to follow up on. We'll have a separate conversation offline about this, maybe. Ooh.
about some of those good times. I enjoyed this. But no, thank you so much for being here. 